Visualizing your goals is very important for you to be able to achieve them, to go on and achieve them. So how do you actually visualize your goals? How do you envision your goals? It's way easier than you might think it is, yet it requires your attention and your dedication. So what you need to do right now or before you go to bed is lay down, close your eyes and get into a you know, meditative uh, state. You could do this with a guided meditation or you could do this uh, without a guided meditation. But I'm just going to teach you how to do it without a guided med meditation. So you, you lay down on your bed, you close your eyes and you start breathing in and breathing out. And then what you want to start to do here is to think about your goals. Okay, think about them being achieved, not you working towards them. So, for example, if you want, I don't know, let's say a million dollars. Don't visualize you working and going to work and, and commuting to work and uh, commuting to work and, you know, I don't know what. No, 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 no. You want to visualize yourself. You want to envision yourself having this one million dollars in your bank account. So you want to sit there and envision yourself opening your bank account on your phone and seeing that you have a million dollars there. That's the first step. And while you're doing that, I want you to envision it with so much emotion, so many emotions that you, your whole body starts getting goosebumps. Okay. You're going to start to like kind of shiver. Okay. Not too much, but you're going to start to kind of vibrate and that's good. That's very good. Once you start getting goosebumps, I mean, that's the, the sweet spot. You know, it, it's working when you get the goosebumps. You visualize yourself getting this money, okay? After you visualize yourself getting the money, think about your parents, think about your girlfriend, think about your friends. Think about them being proud of you. Envision them telling you how proud they are of you. Just sit there, close your eyes, envision them telling you how proud they are of you, uh, that you work very hard, in yeah, all, all of these things. So you need to make sure to do this. This will add even more emotions. Okay. So just in case you didn't get goosebumps in the first part, this part is for you to get the goosebumps if you didn't get the, uh, get them in the first part. After you do that, you need to envision yourself being completely self-confident and, and you so like the third part is you being proud of yourself. So it's you talking to yourself. You tell yourself how hard you worked, how, how much you suffered, and yet how sweet the reward is. And how much, like, how you do it again and again and again in the future. So are you with me? Third part is you being proud of yourself and talking to yourself. You, you need to tell yourself things like you're the best. No one can, can get in your way. You know, affirmations. Okay. So you tell yourself affirmations. I don't care if you sound cocky. That's, that's even better. You just need to get the goosebumps. That's the secret here. Getting the goosebumps. Now, some people can get it in the first part, can get the goosebumps in the first part. And that's good. Some people in the, in the second part and some people require the third part to get goosebumps. But regardless of which part you do get the goosebumps, please make sure to do all three of the steps. First, second, third. It's very important. You need to ingrain in your mind that you are this person. You are this person. You deserve this. So your mind ha has to be already there before your, your physical body is. So your mind has to be a millionaire before you are. If your mind isn't a millionaire, then you won't become a millionaire. So your mind has to become a millionaire. Your mind has to be successful first. And then do this for about 10 minutes. Try to do it every night. Okay. Some people might not be able to do it. I personally didn't do it for, uh, you know, every night. You don't really have to. But if you're, you know, if you don't really feel it that much, then yeah, of course, do it every night. 
But if you feel the goosebumps and you feel this fire inside of you, you need to feel a fire inside of you. If you feel that, then you could do it about, I don't know, two times a week just to remind yourself, just, just to, just to just put on the fire again. So that fire has to stay on in your heart because this fire will push you on and on and on every day towards your goals. So that is very important, keeping the fire alive. So you do it twice a week, maybe, and you keep on doing it, keep on doing it. And I swear to you guys, this works. I did it with my grades. I personally did it with my grades. And I swear to God, I, I manifested, I visualized myself getting A's, straight A's on my report card. And I got straight A's. I visualized, I visualized how, my, how much, uh, how, uh, how proud my parents were of me, how, how, proud of, uh, how proud I was of myself and I, I got the goosebumps and so it's a very great feeling and it's even, it's even better for feeling once your goals are achieved. So that's, the goal is to achieve your goals and you do it through 10 minutes, about 10 minutes of just you putting on a flame in your body, you getting goosebumps, you, you visualizing all these people around you being proud of you. So I want you to do it right now or tonight before you go to bed. Do it. And once you feel the goosebumps, you know what I'm talking about. Once you feel the fire inside of you, you know what I'm talking about.